Hey everybody, this is Colton with POSGuys.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the newest entry in Zebra's line of entry level receipt printers, the ZD411. The ZD411 is the direct replacement to the ZD410, which I have here, uh, and that was discontinued early 2022, so this guy has taken its place. Uh, and We're going to go ahead, take a look at the two units and sort of see how they compare, what's different, what's the same. So with that, zoom us in, let's get started. All right, we're zoomed in here now, uh, and now you might be able to get a better look at and see just how similar these two units look. Obviously, this one is white and has a little black box sticking out the side of it. Uh, that's because this is a healthcare unit that has a auto cutter attachment to it. Um, that Both of these features are available on the ZD410, or were available rather, uh, and there are versions of this that come in the standard gray and without the auto cutter. This is the only one I could get my hands on because they're pretty hard to get right now. Um, so those are the reasonings behind that, but otherwise the units are pretty similar. Same print speed, user interface is the same, internal memory, all the same. I'll throw a sheet up right now that shows all the similarities, but there is one big difference on the ZD411 that uh, differentiates it from the ZD410, and that is going to be the ability for the ZD411 to print thermal transfer labels, at least some models of it. Uh, previously, the Zebra's TLP2824 Plus was the only 2-inch printer in their portfolio that was capable of thermal transfer printing. Uh, the TLP2824 was discontinued as well. So I guess you could call the ZD411 a replacement to that unit as well. Um, the thermal transfer models of the ZD411 will use the same ribbon and labels that the TLP2824 did. So if you want to make the move to the newer unit, uh, you know, you don't have to go out and buy new media. At this time, Zebra hasn't indicated a plan to make a cartridge model of this printer. Uh, if you have bought other Zebra printers before, done some research, you might know that the cartridge is the little yellow media piece. I'll throw some photos up right now uh, that allows you to just snap in the ribbon and snap it out. It's super, uh, it's super simple to install. It's really good if you have employees, uh, you know, who might not be tech savvy. Uh, but all of this is to say is that the ZD411 doesn't have that yet, and I haven't heard plans for it to come, but it might come, who knows? Uh, it might be a thing down the future. Uh, but other than that small little difference, they're almost identical. Uh, it's a drop-in replacement, so any Windows-based software application that uses standard win Windows drivers and supported the ZD411, or, or sorry, the ZD410 or any Zebra printer should be able to use the ZD411, no issues. Uh, iOS and Android are a little bit of a different story. Uh, the printer is still pretty new, so most of the major software manufacturers, or software developers rather, uh, so Square, Shopify, Toast, Clover, Lightspeed, haven't yet certified the printer uh, as of time of the recording, but I would expect most of them to make that transition in the coming year. I mean, it's a pretty, uh, the ZD410 was a pretty major printer for Zebra and a lot of them supported it. So I don't see why they wouldn't do the ZD411, especially with the 410 uh, not being available anymore. At the same time uh, that the ZD411 was announced, Zebra also announced the ZD611. Uh, the ZD611 is sort of Zebra's premier two-inch pre uh, printer, so it's basically the ZD410, or sorry, the ZD411 rather, but with a higher print speed, an optional LCD screen, and some other fun connectivity options, as well as some RFID encoding capabilities. Uh, it's pretty similar to how Zebra has the ZD410, and then the ZD621, or sorry, the ZD421 and the ZD621. These numbers are so hard to keep track, my gosh. Um, but same thing with that, anything that supports the ZD411 should support the ZD611, at least on the Windows side, obviously, iOS, Android, whole different story. Um, so that's something to keep in mind if you know you're kind of looking for a little bit of a higher print speed, looking to code some, encode, do some RFID labels, want a little LCD to make you know, uh, troubleshooting a little easier. The 611 might be the way to go. It's on a pre-order basis, same as this. Um, but if I do get my hand on one of those eventually, I will definitely be making a video to show it off. So keep an eye out for that and subscribe if you haven't. <laughs> um, but other than that, the unit is pretty similar. Printing is going to be almost identical to how it looked on the ZD410. I'll throw some B-roll right now of some labels that I took. 
uh, that say hello world. I'm a ZD411 uh, with a little 2D graphic on their left. And you'll see they look pretty similar. Uh, the other only other thing that I would have to note on this uh, is that there are some internal component changes, but they're very minor. They don't impact compatibility. And really the only re reason that Zebra did that uh, is to make it easier to get the ZD411 and produce it. And hopefully that'll sort of alleviate some of the supply chain issues that we've seen on the ZD410 over the past couple years. Um, so yeah, that's a good sign. Hopefully that'll mean that these will be more available for people in the future. If you're interested in potentially getting your hand on the ZD411 uh, and you're watching this video at the time that it's being released, so late October, 2022, uh, they are on a pre-order basis right now. So if you put an order in now, uh, they should start shipping towards this beginning of Q1. If you're watching at any other time past that, they might be super available and ready to order. So if that is something that you're interested in, or if you have a couple other questions before adopting this unit into your fleet or uh, using it for your business, feel free to give us a call uh, or an email. Both of those are on the screen now. We have some helpful technical support people, some account managers who are uh, there to answer any questions you might have about it. Uh, but with that, thank you all so much. I really appreciate your time and you being here, and I look forward to seeing you again. Take care. Bye-bye.